In this video, I'm going to be installing a brake controller on this uh, 2021 Chevy uh, truck. It uh, has already has a trail uh, towing package installed, so it's already pre-wired pretty much. You just need to add the harness and then um, I'm adding an aftermarket uh, controller because it doesn't have a built-in brake controller. All right, so let's get started. It's pretty easy. If it comes already kind of pre-wired, uh, if it does, it'll have this paperwork and um, this wire harness in the glove box with, you know, basically it's a pigtail. And then has a description here of what the different wires are for and where to plug it in. Of course, this diagram doesn't look anything like what the underside of the truck looks like. <laughs> it seems like so I'm going to show you where that's at. For the uh, brake controller itself, you know, got just a... It's a seventy-five dollar brake controller from Tractor Supply from my brother-in-law here, installing in his truck. You're going to need a, a universal wiring harness uh, pigtail. So this will have, you know, basically this plug on one end. Um, it'll match for this uh, this this plug here, but then I'll have loose wires on the other, so you can wire it into uh, the pigtail from the truck, now, which I've already done. Unfortunately, I didn't really show you that, but here it is wired together. So now, uh, very easy to do outside of the truck, obviously. I use these uh, weather connectors here. I just prefer them all the time. They shrink down and they seal really well. They're just a very good connector. Um, and when they when they harden up, they're, they're pretty solid connection here. I've never had any problems with them. Indoor, you don't need these fancy wire connectors, but this is what I just have all the time. So this is what I use. Um, now, with the The brake controller tells you what the different wires go to. So, so luckily on this one, blue is blue. So you set blue to blue uh, right here. See dark blue, that's to the trailer brakes. You know, here it says blue trailer brakes. Uh, black vehicle power. On this one, the vehicle power is vehicle, is the, the red with the violet stripe. It says fuse trailer brake controller battery feed. So that's the same as the vehicle power. Red stop light. Here it's a white and blue strip. This is a vehicle stop lamp switch. The black uh, is brake controller ground. On here, the ground is uh, uh, white. Very similar to actual brakes in the trailer themselves. So get those connected up here. So now I have this can connect to. The brake controller, the nice thing about doing it, I mean, you could have cut the, this off if you want to save yourself 15 bucks uh, <clears throat> and done the same thing here. But the nice thing is if this dies, you don't have to cut it off. You can just unplug it, get another one, or if you upgrade, you can just get, unplug it and then um, plug in the new one without having to do any wiring. Next step, we're going to plug this in. Okay. So right next to the brake pedal, some wires here, there's some vents. This gray thing right there is it. Now you have to take this out, which is, I mean, I guess a handy feature, and to plug in the harness. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, the next step is to mount the actual um, brake controller. You can see the wires hanging down right there. Um, once I get this thing mounted, then I'm going to clean up. But basically the idea is uh, I'm going to put the probably right here. I'll double check. Um, I check behind here to make sure there's nothing in the way. There isn't. There's some metal, um, you know, panel reinforcement on the back side, but there's no wires or anything like that. So I'm going to put this in. We have some, uh, the brake controller comes with some screws. We definitely use a... A drill in order to get it installed. There are quarter inch uh, head on this uh, screws um, and uh, drill it in. I can put it on wherever you like. Uh, we're gonna, um, my brother in law and my sister in law are right handed, so it makes sense to put it on the right side of the wheel. Uh, this control, the brake controller can be mounted in any angle. Some of them need to be mounted horizontally. Uh, this one doesn't need to be mounted horizontally. So we're good there. You know, another option would be to put it over here. Um, I don't see any options to mount it into the dash. Um, I looked for that as, as being 
you know, potentially you could cut a hole in right here or something like that, depending on what's behind it. Um, but I don't see any any cutouts for a brake controller. So that's where we're going to do it. Okay, nice and tight. Now we get the brake controller in there. It's going to be basically the same, the self-tapping screws. Um, you know, it's not, it's actually not threaded here. So they just kind of tap in um, when you screw them in. I can do this one handed, I guess, on this side. It's pretty tight there. And then I'll have to do it by hand on the other side because I can't get the drill in. Alright, the installation is complete. I'll just try it out here in a sec. I just got the wires up and I just uh, zip tied the wires to themselves, kind of as a bundle, and then zip tied them to this vent thing right here it'll keep them out of the way um you know if you want you can get one of those cable covers to go under here if you want to clean up even a little bit more and uh, that's pretty much it so we'll give it a start and make sure everything turns on <laughs> 